Welcome back to Differential Equation students to section 4.9 and this is video number three. Okay, this is the last generic example we'll be doing here and you can see that we have laid out for us a system of differential equations where x and y are depending on t and they are um, inside of equations kind of together. Um, there's no interaction term here which is actually interesting but we haven't talked a ton about interaction terms yet anyway. So we'll kind of leave those for later here. Uh, going through the process that we've been doing, this would be a dx plus a dy equals 2x plus 2y plus 1. And a dx plus 2dy equals y plus 3. And, you know, kind of doing exactly what we did before, getting these into standard form so we can work with them very easily. We should have a dx minus 2x plus dy minus 2y. You could put the 1 over here on the other side. Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter, um, but because it doesn't have any variable t, I think I'll move it. And no more x's here. And then I have plus 2 dy minus y. Oh, not plus, but minus 3. Okay, uh, factoring like we've done before, this is d minus 2x plus d minus 2. I don't know why I put that as, I had a long, nice long pause there because I, I wasn't sure on how that became a d there. That's a definitely a 2, so when I bring it across, it's got to be a 2. So this is d minus 2 times a y minus 1. And this one would be a dx plus 2d minus 1, y minus 3 equals 0. Of course, now we're down to making a choice, which variable looks to be the easier one to get rid of. Uh, I think the x's really look pretty easy here. This would most likely be multiplied by a negative d, I think, by most of you, whereas this one down here would be a d minus 2. Bringing that through, I'd have negative d, d minus 2, x. I could put a minus here, minus d times d minus 2, y minus a d equals 0. And then I have d times d minus 2, x plus... And it doesn't matter necessarily the order you write them. This is d minus 2 times 2d minus 1 with a y minus 3 times d minus 2. Okay. And at this point, I feel pretty good that some things should cancel. I think these here match. That's nice. What would then be left here? Well, I think I'll remember this was a negative. I think I'll push that through as I'm doing this here. So that would be a negative d squared plus 2d Now this other one, right, this, these all have maybe I'll do it like this, these all have y's and then it's a plus okay, well what's this next one? Well, it'd be d times 2d that's 2d squared That'd be a negative 5d. And finally, I would have what? That's plus 2. And that also has a y there. Minus 3d plus 6 equals 0. Well, I shouldn't quite put this 0 here. Don't forget that I had this little d sitting out here too. Now, when you're looking at this, there's no need to freak out. You see that these have y's, right? These two things. Well, then I should be able to combine them. This 2d squared and then this negative d squared, right, should make a d squared. 2d, negative 5d, make a negative 3d, and then I have a plus 2. These all had y's. These don't. 
right? So I think I'll kick those over. This is a negative 3D and a negative 4D, which would make 4D when I bring it across, minus 6, right? Here's a super small trick. This is for the derivative against T. Oh, well, that's 0. So this is actually just a negative 6 that sits over here. I factor this, negative 2, negative 1. I know I have the trivial solution, right? But d equals 2 or 1, which means y of t would then equal, oh, but it's supposed to be y of the homogeneous plus the particular. And because of this negative 6, I have to worry about it. So I found these, which belong to the homogeneous, that'd be c sub 1 e to the 2t plus c sub 2 e to the t. Okay. Now for the particular, the annihilator of negative 6 is d. Right? Okay, well if it's d, then that's d equals 0. Did I have any 0 before? No. So the particular is just some ver constant. Well, then that means the first derivative is 0 and the second derivative is 0. It's supposed to be a solution. If I scroll back up to the top, looking at a solution here, it should satisfy any of these. But of course, I do that because that is incorrect thinking. Here, what was this the particular solution to? It was the particular solution to my small, my small equation, right? This one right here, my auxiliary, which that thing, right, is d squared minus 3d plus 2 equals a negative 6. Oh, well, this is y double prime minus 3y prime plus 2. And th this is kind of tricky because you don't see the y here, but it was sitting there. So this is actually a y equals negative 6. Well, of course, then this would be a 0 minus 3 times 0 plus 2c sub 3 equals negative 6. I then find that c sub 3 is a negative 3. And... Because I know that, I'm ready to say that y of t is equal to c sub 1 e to the 2t plus c sub 2 e to the t minus 3. Okay. And for this video here, I think I'm basically going to stop here. I, uh, I want you to find x of t on your own. Okay. Uh, I will tell you, though, that the final answer you should get is this one. And I am curious to see if you guys get the same thing as me, different things as me, okay? But I think these are the solutions that I got when I worked it out earlier. So we'll see what you guys get when you bring it back.